Hello guys, welcome to our last episode in the Access Control Explanatory Series. In this episode, we are going to go over the AC22, that is the publicly accessible content. But as always, a free way to support the channel is by hitting the subscribe button to help grow the channel. That is if you haven't done so already. And thank you for all the support. And also do hit or smash the like button and the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos. Thank you and let's get started. Publicly accessible content, the AC22. This control is implemented for the organizations to designate individuals authorized to post information onto a publicly accessible information system and as well as onto the social media platforms. To train the authorized individuals on good practice of posting publicly accessible information to avoid posting non-public information onto the publicly accessible system and or social media. To review proposed content of information prior to posting onto the publicly accessible information system and all the social media platforms. And finally, to review information already posted on the publicly accessible system, that is to include any social media platform as well, for any non-public information that is already posted for review and corrective actions to be taken. Right, so this control is actually selected for all the three control baseline in REF4, as you can see, the low baseline, the moderate baseline, and the high baseline. Likewise, it's also selected for all the three baseline in the 853 REF5, the low baseline, the moderate baseline, and the high baseline. Now, let's read the control requirement for AC22 in the 853 REF5. AC22, publicly accessible content. The control, A, designate individuals authorized to make information publicly accessible. B, train authorized individuals to ensure that publicly accessible information does not contain non-public information. C, review the proposed content of the information prior to posting onto the publicly accessible system. This to include the social media platform as well, to ensure that non-public information is not included. And finally, Review the content of the publicly accessible system, that is to include social media platform as well, for non-public information. Assignment, organization defined frequency, if it is quarterly, every three months, every four months, every five months, every six months, every year. However, the policy detects for that particular organization or agency, that is what you're looking for. Are they doing that according to their own defined frequency of review? And remove such information if discovered. Now, let's look at the discussion. In accordance with applicable laws, executive orders, directives, policy, regulations, standards, and guidelines, the public is not authorized to have access to non-public information, including information protected under the Privacy Act or the Prive Act. Publicly accessible content addresses systems that are controlled by the organization and are accessible to the public, typically without identification or authentication. Posting information on a non-organizational system, that is non-organizational public website, forum, and social media, is covered by the organizational policy. While organization may have individuals who are responsible for developing and implementing policies about the information that can be made publicly accessible, publicly accessible content addresses the management of the individual who makes such information publicly accessible accessible that is the training the review process the approval process and whatnot these are all covered in this control and also this control has no enhancement as you can see control enhancement none so ac22 has no control enhancement it places emphasis on designating individuals who are authorized to make information publicly accessible not everybody within the agency or within the organization can just get up and just start posting information about the company on uh, the website or the social media platform that is not allowed if you are not allowed to do that please do not do that because those information need to be vetted and reviewed and approved before those information are make or are made publicly available to the public right all right so moving on all right so now let's look at the uh, control requirement simplification so this control is to make sure that organization in essence 
post and publish only vetted and approved information that needs to be public and does not contain information about the company that should not be publicized. Two, it also stresses the importance of training the individuals authorized to post or make this information public and also calls for regular review process to ensure there is no mistake in the process. Like somebody will not, you know, mistakenly publish or make public information that are not supposed to be public. The review process, you know, catches this thing. Sometimes even if the information is already posted, you know, if you have a regular review of the content that are available publicly, you can catch some information that should not be made public. All right, moving on. Now let's look at the control assessment approach for AC22. And as usual, to ensure this control is in place and functioning as intended, that is the design and functional or the operational effectiveness, we do the following. As always, obtain and examine the SSP and the access control policy and procedure the dash one control to review the organization's policy on who is responsible for posting information for public consumption. Review the trainings needed to be taken by authorized individual or personnel before they can post publicly accessible information on the system or social media platform. Now, after reviewing the training, now you have to review the personnel training record to make sure that they have actually taken the trainings and then the records are there to prove that they have taken the training and they know the do's and the don'ts before they post any information about the organization on the public forum or on the publicly accessible system and as well as the social media platforms. And lastly, review sample emails of reviews and approvals before the publicly accessible information is posted. So you can ask for, hey, can you give me a, a sample emails or anything like a ticket, you know, service now ticket, Jira ticket of when an information that was about to be posted was submitted to an email or a ticketing system for a review of that particular information before the individuals can post that information to the social media platform or publicly accessible system. You know, that is very important. Let's see how they do it, you know, get the ticket, emails, whatever they can prove that there was a, a request for review and approval before they go ahead and post it. And also the frequency of uh, the review of already um, information that are already on the, you know, uh, that are on public forums or on social media platform, what are the, you know, the steps? How often do they review it? What are the documentation that prove that they review it according to the organizational defined frequencies? These are some of the things that you look for to make sure these controls are in place and they are functioning as they should. But now, you know, for the most part, uh, these controls are typically non-applicable, you know, unless you're working with an agency that deal with a lot of the public, like the IRS and what, what have you. Those, you'll see that they have this kind of controls. But in, other than that, most of the agencies will have NA for the uh, publicly accessible content, the AC22. That's it for this last episode in our Access Control Family Explanatory Series. I would like you, my subscribers, to vote on what control family to tackle next. That's the either AU, AT, CM, CP, SC, SI, IA, and any other control that you want us to look at next in the, in the next series. Please comment below with your vote. And the control family with the most votes will be our next control family series to tackle. Please do like, subscribe, share, and comment so the YouTube algorithm will expose these videos to lots of people who could benefit from these videos as well. Thank you, and I will see you in our next control series based on your votes, remember.